Hello everybody and welcome back to tutorial part 11 in today's tutorial we will be building purple GFO which is directly behind me and uh, you guys actually voted for this on the community poll if you want to participate in future polls to vote for which tutorial you want to do next make sure to subscribe to the channel and also these videos take a really long time to put together to make sure I don't miss any detail in the SMP so uh, I would really appreciate it if you help me out anyways okie dokie everyone welcome back to the tutorial world so uh, last thing we built in this area was church prime and we built the prime path and stuff uh, and we did Technoblade space way over there, so we're back to the, the main area, I guess. And so when you cut, continue down the path in the lowest point over here before we cut into the hill, uh, this is where we're going to start marking out Purple GFO. And uh, as you can see, uh, you had some off-camera homework that I didn't tell you about. If you didn't do the homework, you instantly failed. We have to cut out a lot of the trees in this area, so just, you know, sort of the general area uh, that I cut out trees you can do as well in back, back here. Ooh, what though? There's a bee. I didn't even know they could fly up this high. Okay, anyways, so you see we had this shape in the ground right here. Uh, we're going to be focusing on this side because this is where Purple GFO actually goes. So I'm going to actually fill in this whole layer with grass. So yeah, we're just going to fill in this entire layer uh, with grass blocks. Okay, once we fill in this side, we can also fill in this side. So these three blocks here, and uh, we'll do all of these spots. Uh, don't worry about, like, over there and anything. Just, just you know, in this area. There we go. Everything is filled in with grass blocks, uh, just like that. So right here, this is where we're going to start laying everything out. So I'm going to get some stairs and some grass back out. And uh, so right where this slab drops down, I'm going to put two cobblestone stairs and then three grass blocks right here. And that's because right here, there's a building that's going to go here. So that actually lays it out. And then we continue putting grass uh, all the way along to this side. And uh, where this three is, we can go two back, one back, one back, and then uh, like that, connect it back. And then this whole layer, we can fill in with grass Okay, there we go and these two layers right here we can knock out this whole layer and then this whole layer we are also going to flatten all right i'm gonna get out some diamond blocks to count to get to the spot of the ufo and i'm only doing this because i would just show the coordinates but the bedrock you can't trust because the bedrock coordinates are actually off uh it just so if you're on bedrock that's just a good note don't use the coordinates that i give you it only applies if you're in java edition and you're on the actual seed all right so where these two stairs are and then we had this these three blocks on this third block right here Starting on top of this third block, this is one, we're going to count 21. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And the 21st block right here should be this one block sticking out. And on this 21st block, this is actually the center of the water column on the UFO. So around it, I'm going to place grass blocks all the way around it, knock out this one, and build a glass frame around it. So when you count it out, the 21st block is the one in the middle here. Um, just to clarify and now what we can do we actually can get some more grass and then this whole layer down here We can just fill this all in with grass as well uh, And let's just stop it like sort of right here uh, we'll, we'll do something with that water gets covered up, but um, that'll be for another another video But for now we can just fill in this layer. Okay, there we go I'm gonna get rid of my diamond blocks. Okay, here we are at the bottom of the UFO We can get rid of some of this grass and then one of the torches I'll put in uh, from this corner We can go one and then boop on the second one there and then go two back, one over, boop, and there's a torch right there. Those are the, sh the two torches that are right next to the UFO. Okay, so now we need to start taking this glass straight up so it makes the, the beam sort of coming out of the UFO, which used to be the entrance. But now the, the door is gone, so we're not going to put a door here. Uh, but anyway, so counting the one that's on the floor here, so if I got rid of this one, we need to stack up 43 uh, purple glass. So the one, one is the first one we placed here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. Now, I don't know if the bedrock coordinates are the exact same. Uh, I wouldn't trust it, but uh, um, the middle coordinate should be 113. And then we need to put one light gray concrete so we are at 114 in the air. Uh, and we're going to do this for all four spots. Okay, there we go. That is our beam in the sky. Uh, next thing we got to do, we're going to get lime stained glass panes out. And it sort of like wraps around it. So when you're looking at it from the front here, so the prime path is behind me, you're looking at it from the front. Go on to the left side. And on this spot right here, we're going to put uh, two right there. And then we sort of just keep wrapping around. So like put one behind it. Um, and then one over, one up, next to it there so you keep making like like a little l shape and then an l shape and keep doing this wrap it all the way around the ufo and when you get to the top you should end on the same side that you started okay so when you made it to the top you should have ended right here so on the left side and actually the last ones you put here get rid of those we want to leave the top row of the the purple stained glass empty and what we're going to do we're actually going to get out uh, regular gray concrete and then make a, a sort of border around it like this, including filling in the corners. So I'll do this and then you can see, oops, not there, there. 
And uh, you can see that's the shape it makes, so the glass will hit right here on the same side that we started on, and then wrap it around uh, to that back corner. And that's the way it should be, and then the light gray concrete is above it. Now what we can do, we can get our water and put some water in there, let it flow all the way down, and uh, there actually isn't soul sand or a door or anything, it's completely closed off. Um, if you guys want to, let me know in the comments, I can do another tutorial on the actual door and the redstone that goes underneath it so that you can have it fully functional if you want it. Uh, but in the SMP, he broke all the redstone out, and uh, there's no door or anything, because Purple actually moved out. He doesn't live in the UFO anymore. Okay, so the way we're going to build this UFO is actually by layers. I think that's just the easiest way to do it, so we're going to go layer by layer of the whole UFO until we get to the top. So right here, we have this light gray concrete sitting out, and go to any of the sides, doesn't matter, it's fully symmetrical on every side. I'll show you the parts where it gets a little unsymmetrical, uh, there's some glass broken at the, on the outside. Uh, but we'll do that at the end. So go to any of the sides, and this is, counts as one, and we're going to extend it a total of seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And do this on all, all the other sides. We have to add six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Now what we're going to do, we're going to build an extra row next to it on either side. I'm going to just do uh, these two sides, and then we can copy and paste it over the other sides because it's the exact same thing. So put another row on either side of it. And then what we're going to do, we're going to make one that's one shorter and another one that's one shorter and do it over here as well. Another one that's one shorter. And then we can make an L shape and make it diagonal just like that. Uh, so the middle, it should go, it, it's like five all the way across because I don't have this side in, but I could put this side in. Uh, oops, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's not right. It, it's three. So the, the edges are three, then two, one, one, two, three, just like that. Now, let's go ahead and copy and paste this to every other side. Yeah, while I'm building this, I should mention, I have re-recorded this multiple times trying to find uh, the best way to explain this because this is prob this is definitely, like, the hardest build we've had to um, do so far. It's, yeah, definitely the most complicated one. Um, all right, here, I'm almost done. Okay, I'm done with this now. So, we're going to get some smooth stone slabs out like this, and then there's, like, upside-down slabs going along here. So, on any of the sides, the furthest point where there's the three... Put one on either side of it like that and like on this side as well and then in the middle where the diagonals happen put one like that in the middle right so we're gonna do that all the way around pretty easy uh, oops that's not in the middle make sure you don't misplace any of them and after every layer I'm gonna come up to the top here and you can see exactly what it should look like it should look like this uh, make sure there is nothing wrong with it there we go okay we're, we're definitely good okay so next layer we're gonna have to go uh, from from the water here, go one, two, three, four, five, and on the sixth one, place a slab, and then put two on either side of it. One, two, three, four, five, and then put a slab. So actually, I mean, I don't really need to count it. I can see it's like pretty much one block away from the edge, um, like that. And then in any other corners, you're gonna do two, one, and then two to make it a circle. Two, one, and two, right? And this is sort of the the interior floor, and it helps like expand the co concrete all the way out. Uh, so when you come in here, like, there's layers, so you, like, walk up until you get to the, the edge of the walls. Alright, so go to any of the edges where these three slabs are, and now we can, uh, make sort of a 3x3 three three cube behind it, like this, you see? Um, and then what we can do behind the two, we can also go three out, like that, and then on the other side, one, two, three, one, two, three, and let's actually do this on every side. Okay, so it should look like this right now, and now to connect it in the corners, when you're looking either side from the one, put four, one, two, three, four. So it actually extends out to the same length, and then one, two, three, four, um, like that. And then what we can do is make a, a sort of cube in there like that, and actually two more on either side. Uh, that was probably a bad explanation, but let me uh, let's show you again. So from the out, or let's just let's just do it again. So we have the slab, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four on the other side, one, two, three, four, and then in here, put one on top of here, uh, like just make a two by two, and then two more on both of the the edges. So it should go three, three. Two, two, three, three, and three, or three, three, two, two, three, three. Uh, let's do it again over here, just in case you're lost. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Make your two by two, and then add it on the edges there. Okay, there we go. That's all the concrete in place. Now the upside down slabs. Uh, same thing as the other layer. Put it uh, by the edges, and then in the middle, um, and then by the edges in the middle. Uh, oops, edges, middle, edges, and the middle. There we go, and that's this finished layer. Alright, so we're gonna do this uh, one more time. I think this is the last layer of concrete before we get into the gray concrete walls. So, um, from these spots, leave the first two rows empty, and then, like, all the way out on the edge, 
put your three put your three slabs and let's do that on all of the edges uh, nope all right all right and then to connect it from these three we need three more on either side three more and then two and two so actually yeah, it goes it goes perfectly on all of the edges of the concrete, so that would have been a much way much easier way to explain that. Uh, so you can just wrap it along all the edges. Uh, but actually, this does change, so I'm gonna just do it all the way across, and I'll figure out which side is different. It's the side that has the bed. And oops, I'm messing it up. Okay, so you're on the side of the prime path. You're looking at the UFO like this, and one of them is different. On the back wall here, uh, instead of having these three, knock out those three and make it flat, just like that. Right, because uh, he has his bed right there, so he like he like flattened it on this side. Uh, so that's one of the un unsymmetrical parts. Oh, my cloud's wrong. So that's one of the unsymmetrical parts. Okay, we'll save the back part for last because it's a little different. Actually, for the sake of it, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it this way at first, so we can build the the outside uh, the correct way, and then we'll change it at the inside. I probably should have done it like that. That's okay. So uh, come to any of the edges where we have the three. Build out an extra two like that, and then three, and three, and then from there two and two right so the the edges sh this should be five blocks long and then we can do uh actually another one so it's three blocks so the five is in the middle and then build it out like this so you have three and let's do that on all the sides okay so it should look like this uh and after these three then it just it goes diagonal so one two three four so four diagonals one two three four and uh that is actually it so let's do that on every single side and then we can put in our upside down slabs uh so actually it's really easy you just go Two, 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 one. Oops, whoa, 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 nope, 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 nope. That is not correct, that is not correct. So you have the five, the three, easy fix. Once you've done that on all four sides, go ahead and do that. And then put three more, uh, just put three more to fix it. So it goes three, then two, one diagonal, then another two. Easy fix, just add three, uh, three things of concrete on every single side. Make sure it's in the right spot every time though, uh, so you don't mess it up. Okay, ooh, I'm glad I caught that. Okay, yeah, so that's the correct way it should look. Uh, I'll give you a second to look at that. And uh, now, let's go ahead and make our unsymmetrical part. So, we can knock out these three slabs, connect it across, and then fill in the concrete right there. And make sure it's on the face, facing the backside away from the prime path. Okay, now to do our upside down slabs on this one. Again, we want to put it on either side of the edges. And then instead of putting it in the middle, we're actually going to put it onto the one, the one next to it. And that's how it's going to be. So, the edges and then the, the corner spots next to it. So, do that everywhere. And there we go, this whole layer should look like this and this is the last layer of like a concrete and so now we are going to be go moving on to the gray concrete um and the whole middle area okay this layer does get a little bit tricky uh this is where it sort of messes me up because it's not really like touching any other layers and we have no slabs to put in so let's go to one of the edges just like this uh we'll take it block for block here uh so go in the middle here and place a temporary block and delete that it's it's like hovering over it uh, and then what we could do is put build um, three out on either side of that. One, two, three. And uh, actually what we can do, we can do an extra three. One, two, three. And one, two, three. So that's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's thirteen long. Just like that. And then what we can do, skip the first, skip the first three, and then build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, just like that. So uh, seven and then three on either side. And then from there, we can put three blocks behind it on either side and let's do that on every single edge okay so it should look like this now and now to connect all of the corners let's make sure i don't do this wrong so after after it goes like the seven on the outside then the three and then we want um two and two on this side and then diagonal so do just like that two diagonals and that is correct i, <laughs> I confirm and then what we want to do is just fill in these four spots right here so none of it none of the gray concrete should be overlapping any of the the previous layer it's all hovering out in space so let's do it again on this side we're going to do two out two out uh connect it in the middle like that and then fill in any of the empty gaps um there we go there we go this whole layer should look like this so on any of the edges you should have seven and then three two and then two diagonals two three and then back to the seven and uh it shouldn't on the inside it shouldn't be overlapping anything not even not even the upside down slabs those should still be exposed on the inside so this is this next layer is actually the middle of the ufo so we're going to need uh shroom lights uh lime stained glass and our gray concrete and the lime stained glass and the concrete are going to alternate around the outside so go to any of the edges and uh, we're going to put one two three four alternating um gray concretes in the middle put our three stained glass just like that and then on the spots there are three uh, this or the glass should go in the middle and then uh, where these two are just two gray concrete two things of glass 
chew concrete and then it the pattern starts over again on the next spot like this so it's, it's sort of alternating for a second and then it sort of doubles up like this uh, so sort of sort of weird but uh, let's wrap this all the way around the same pattern all right there we go we have this pattern going all the way around and then this part's really easy we're just gonna take the shroom lights and uh directly on top of all of this gray concrete we're gonna put shroom lights so three there uh seven there three there and then also in all of these spots just like that so wrap the shroom lighting all the way around from so from the outside you just see the shroom light through the windows uh, i think this ufo is really cool props to purple i highly doubt he'll ever see this <laughs> but uh, if he does Hey, I really like this build. This is obviously one of the best builds on the SMP and my personal favorite build. Uh, it's also like one of the oldest ones that is not griefed because now the community house has been blown up. So when we do the update video, we'll figure that out. But uh, yeah, this is this is honestly one of my favorite builds in the entire SMP. Uh, this next layer is a super easy one. All we have to do is put gray concrete exactly where we put it on the, the two layers ago. Just put it in the same spot again. So directly over all of this and all of the shroom lighting. Super easy layer. Uh, really no new stuff we have to do here. Okay, second attempt at recording this layer. I messed it up the, the first time. All right, so we're going to start with our slabs from now on. Uh, and we're going to go in these two spots diagonally. And then um, in, the two, in these two spots next to it. And then what we want to do is right here in that spot. And then skip the, the two diagonal bits and then put it right here. And so we're going to do this on every single side so on any given corner there should be six one two three four five six slabs uh, to make sure so you make sure you don't miss any uh, and all of these spots it gets it's a little tricky but once you figure out the pattern uh, it goes pretty easy all right now we can use our Lego concrete and fill it in so from any of the edges come over here and then we're gonna go one two three four five five like that and then in the layer behind it we're also going to fill it all the way in all right now in the middle actually the next layer the third layer let's fill it all the way in um, like that and then on the third layer we need to knock out these three middle bits I think it's just easier to explain it like that Okay, and then the next area skip three and then go all the way across And on this side skip three and go all the way across and then we're gonna skip two Go across so we have to put three on either side and then after we skip two uh, We're just gonna leave one put two and then one right there uh, So we're gonna put two and then one uh, right there and now let's do that on every single edge and it should connect up perfectly uh, so over here, we'll do it one more time. Uh, so do fill in the first three layers. And you can see it'll sort of connect to the other one. Fill in the first three layers. Knock out the middle three. All right, then we want to leave three. Uh, place four, or place five like that. Leave three. Place one, two, three, four, five. Then skip two. And we can just put one right there. And uh, so let's do that on all the sides. And it should link up perfectly. There we go. That's that whole layer. So you can see it's it's similar but it is, it is in a different spot, so, uh, you know, and also the floor, so actually, actually, I mean, it really isn't that, it really isn't, it is kind of different. Anyways, alright, so next layer, we're gonna get our stone slabs, we're gonna start with this, well, actually, this layer would be easier to start with the actual concrete. Uh, yeah, okay, so, <clears throat> come to any of the edges, and where we knocked out these three, we need, it's not connected at all, so it's floating over this, uh, in this spot right here, and we're gonna build a two by three, and from either side, build out three, and then three behind it, so it's like, uh, another two by three like on either side of it um, and we'll, we'll not worry about the slabs yet and then what we want to do build out an extra two and then sort of build another two by three but this time it's like connected to the other one I don't know if that really makes sense if it doesn't make sense just follow the exact blocks I place you should have a two by three here with uh, another two by three on either side and then the other two by three the next one is like connected it's like joined to the other one in that corner where I'm hovering over uh, let's do that on every single side. Okay, now that we've done that, in any of the corners, all we have to do is put one in there, and then one on the inside like that. Super easy fix. Um, so you can see, fill in the one gap, and then add one on the inside. And the ring around the inside should look like three, two, two, one diagonal, two, two, three. Okay, good, and it's symmetrical. Good, 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 everything is done right. Now we can add our slabs to the outside. So on any of the layers... Uh, put slabs again on either of these sides and actually pretty much on every single corner just put one there uh, two there one there okay yeah so pretty much every single spot you can put a slab uh, just put a slab like this uh, this is actually one of the easiest slab layers I guess and uh, there we go that is the finished layer it should look just like this we're getting there we're getting there definitely okay we have two more concrete levels and then uh, finish up the easy finish up the easy little roof and then the interior which isn't there's not that much of the interior Alright, so, again, come to one of the edges, <clears throat> and, uh, do the same technique where it's floating out, 
above it, uh, a 2x3 like that, and then we can do a 2x2 two two connecting it on either side, right? And then actually another 2x2, two two, just like that. It's not it's not connected at all. Another 2x2 two two like that. And actually, if we do that on every single side, uh, let's see if let's see if my theory is correct. If we do that on every side, that should finish up the layer itself, and there's nothing else we need to do. So now 2x2 two two next to it, and then the other 2x2. Two two. The third one should like merge with itself and perfectly make... Yeah, it perfectly makes it so like no other things we need to do. So, just it, I, this actually this is pretty easy. So make your two by three on either side, add a two by two, and then the next two by two should connect in the corner to the other one. Uh, this is definitely really compli uh, definitely a complicated build. So uh, this is probably one of the hardest builds we're gonna have to do on the S and P. Uh, a lot of the other stuff will be relatively easy. And is something messed up here? What's what's going on? Two and oh, I built that in the wrong spot. It should be like that. Okay, there we go. So the inside ring should have a, uh, let's see, three, two, one, one, two, three, and is that correct? Yes, it is correct. Okay, so uh, now we can put our slabs on the outside here. So again, on these spots, and actually it's the same thing. On every single corner possible, yeah, like I said, the top has a lot more slabs than the bottom. So on every single available spot, that makes sense, uh, put a slab uh, just like in all of the corners. And it sort of just makes it look smooth, and I think it actually makes it look really cool. Okay, there we go. That layer's okay. This layer right here, this this layer actually does overlap it a little bit. Uh, so first thing we're gonna do, same technique at the beginning, uh, hovering over mid air, we're gonna do our two by three like that, uh, and then we're gonna build two out on either side, like that. Actually, it doesn't connect to it. Uh, let's do that on all four sides. Make our two by three, and then two blocks out, and then in the middle spots, we need to make an L shape. So boop boop boop. There we go. So just uh, a, a backwards L right there and uh, yeah that's that's pretty much all you have to do so do that everywhere there we go that's a really easy layer so in the middle it should be five two diagonals five uh so we do don't fill it in like that or anything that's pretty much it and then the same thing with the slabs put it in every single available spot uh, <laughs> not there put it uh, there on either side and then the two diagonal spots the outsides there we go uh and i'm pretty sure is this the last concrete layer this yeah that, that was the last concrete layer sweet so what we're going to do, we're going to get uh, some torches out uh, while I still can see everything. I'm going to build the torches in the right spots here. Uh, so we're going to come to the one, two, the third layer here. Uh, and on the outside, we're going to put one there. And then in the two diagonal spots and do that all the way around. Uh, the torches are very symmetrical on the top of the UFO because not a lot of people can come up here and ruin the torches. Uh, and there we go. That's all the torches on the top of the UFO. That, there's nothing else. And uh, now, only that leaves us is to do our uh, our little dome on the top here. So, what we can do is temporarily place it hovering over midair, and it should be uh, five five along, then um, diagonal one, and five along, diagonal one, five along. Also, if you're wondering why there's connected glass, I'm using Optifine. It's a mod, and for people asking World Edit, uh, World Edit is just another mod, um, which you do on Java Edition. Alright, so now that we have this all the way up, we can make it uh, a second layer, going all the way along. There we go. Alright, next thing we gotta do, uh, place it hovering over midair as well, and we just need to do like a, basically a 7x7, seven seven, but like, without the corners, so it's just like 5, and then 5, Pr pretty easy uh, technique. And then what we can do on the insides, put one on the corners of all of these spots, like that. And then the next layer, we're just gonna fill up the whole thing, uh, covering up all the space, like this, and then we need to break out one in the middle, boom, and we need to get a oak trap door, and uh, this is important, let's see, whenever we are facing, whenever we're facing towards the prime path, looking at the UFO, uh, put the trap door like that, so when you flap it open, it, it's open, it opens and closes, um, like that, and there we go, that's the entire outside of the UFO, pat yourself on the back, you have the outside of the UFO, uh, <laughs> this thing looks really cool, um, so let's do the interior. Okay, so uh, to make sure you don't like get the orientation of it wrong uh, When you're looking sort of this way you can come down into the UFO Like this so you're looking this way and uh, this wall right here is gonna be the wall full of all of the chest uh, And actually I guess there's an easier way to do it the side that has the long line That's the bed and the opposite side of the the unsymmetrical part. This is the wall with the chest uh, We're actually gonna start with this wall So on the left side where these where these three are we're gonna put an anvil down here we're gonna put an inner chest, and then we're gonna put double chests going all the way along this entire thing, um, like this. He never got rid of it, but um, 
you know. And then in the middle here, we're going to put our smithing table. And now what we can do, we need to put more double chests going all the way up. Um, just like this. It's like a bulk storage. It's three blocks tall all the way across. Like this. Okay, next thing we're going to do above the chest, we're actually going to put three barrels right here. And also, I never, I don't understand this. Because I don't think he ever really, like, used the UFO that much. So, like, you can't actually even open any of the chests on the top row. It's just, they're just there. But you can't actually open them. Which would always annoy me, but... Nah, I don't know. Anyways, uh, I forgot. There's actually a stone cutter uh, in that spot right here. And then there's actually a few extra miscellaneous chests they added uh, a little later. So next to the anvil, uh, go sort of diagonal there and put a double chest facing this direction. Uh, skip this one block and behind it, put another double chest. And then diagonal to it, put a third double chest just like that. Now, that actually leads us on to this wall. So when you're looking at the chest wall, you turn to the left here. Uh, this has a bunch of different uh, furnaces, blast furnace, and smokers. So on the left side of this wall, we need to put um, six blast furnace in the middle, a three by three of furnaces, and then in the last spot, as you guessed it, smokers, just like that. Right. Um, before we go any further, I'm going to add all of the torches. So what we want to do is, uh, from the center block of water, we're going to go one, two, and on the third one, put a torch uh, in, on every single direction, just like that. And then we also need to add some torches... All right, and then on this the middle layer here, we need to add some torches uh, right in the right in the middle, right there. And let's do that on all the spots. And that's actually all the torches. The shroom lighting does a pretty good job of lighting this up. Now, if you're looking at the chest right here, super crazy detail. The one right here is gone near these chests. That torch is gone. But the rest of them are still there. So we're gonna do the bed in this spot where the unsymmetrical floor is. So in the middle, we're gonna put a purple bed. To the right side, we're gonna do a chest with a lantern on top of it, and then a double chest right there. On the left side, it'll we'll do we'll do a car cartography table, uh, and then soul sand, nether wart on it, and then in this spot right here, there's a painting. Actually, I'm gonna temporarily break the lantern, put two blocks there, and we need to get the painting of the lady right there, and then we can put our lantern back. And uh, there we go. That's that. That's that. And that's pretty much the entire interior of the UFO. If you want, you can put all of the maps in. We'll, we'll do that. We'll come back and do the maps later because if we did it now, it'd be really inaccurate. Uh, but this whole wall had a huge map of the SMP uh, as it stood before, like Lemanberg and all of that. So there we go. There's the map wall. You can put the item frames in. If you want, you can put your own maps in uh, temporarily. We'll we'll come back to this and also fill a lot of these chests. That'll be its own video where we just go around filling chests. Well, that's gonna be so much fun. And that, that pretty much wraps up the build. I think we're actually gonna do a bonus. I'm gonna do a. Bo you guys want a bonus build? Yeah. Just so like when we built that, we built the fighting pit. Let's do a little bonus build. We're gonna build uh, the little car that's down here. Okie dokie. Time for our bonus build. So I'm gonna get out my handy dandy diamond, of course. So uh, we're actually gonna be looking towards the prime path, and in this corner, uh, you don't really have to do this, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put some diamonds like that, so you can see. That's where you need to count out, and then diagonal to that, we are going to put uh, not a diamond, our one black concrete, and that's one of the tires. Uh, so you can see sort of how that goes, like two out, uh, and then an extra two over. Uh, so right here, this is one of the tires, and then we can put another tire back there. Skip three, put a tire there and there. And then also, let's cut out this grass uh, just that much, and these three and those two. <clears throat> Alright, so we're going to get our polished andesite slabs, and we're going to put one in, in the middle of these, and then three and all the way across, connecting these spots. And then we're going to get regular stone brick slabs and put them on the front like that and on the back of the car. Um, there we go. And actually, I just realized this wall needs to be a regular stone brick wall. All right. So on this side, also, I'm going to get rid of this in the floor here. We don't need that anymore. On the front here, we're going to put three smooth stone slabs and three thing of concrete or not concrete, cobblestone, then glass, and then a three by three of uh, cobblestone like this. On the back here, actually, we need to knock out this one and build up two uh, stone brick walls. And then we're going to get our, our polished inside slabs again and make a 3x3 three three for the roof of it. Just like that. And here, there we go. That is this random derpy car that's sitting down here at the bottom uh, if you wanted it. I like adding little details like that. It really makes the SMP, like, or my, the recreation, like, really come to life and it, it starts to actually look like it, uh, which is what I'm going for, obviously. And uh, there we go. That... That is the UFO. Pat yourself on the back. Give yourself a round of applause. You have completed probably one of the hardest builds on the server. Uh, besides maybe the Eretz Castle. That's also going to be... Well, that's going to be difficult. That's going to be a multiple part thing. Um, but yeah, pat yourself on the back. You did it. You made one of the hardest builds. Um, so I don't want to waste any more time. Thank you guys so much for following the tutorial. If you made it this far, comment, cookie, 
uh, comment the word cookie, and I will like all of your comments to say cookie in it. Uh, anyways, tell me what you want to see next, and uh, make sure you subscribe so you can participate in the community polls and vote for which tutorials you guys want to see next. Uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful day, a beautiful week, a beautiful life, and uh, I will see you guys later. Goodbye!